This is Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the afternoon and it's a beautiful temperature out here and that is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. These are my silicone basting brushes bought at Walmart with missing bristles in between so that uh, when I stroke things the, the paint won't glop up. This is a, um, a little brush, I don't know what it's called, looks like it's missing an end. Somebody trimmed it into the same shapes as my uh, basting brush. This is what's left of a container of paint. These are my little acetate cards I've been using to swipe geometric paintings and uh, I thought they might come in handy for all kinds of things so I left them there. To the to my left, your right, I have an edge catcher that I think I might use and right now, oh right now I want to keep this canvas as wet as possible so because there's no paint on it it's not going to dry up fast. I am going to take my colors and use my shovels and just put what I think might look good in there as flowers. I'm not sure how any of that's going to work right now. It would be nice if that would come out. But I have skewers to remove the clogs and my tips. I also have chains standing by and I'm going to grab some yellow today. Put it right in there. I guess not much. And I can never get enough of my purple. And I'm just going to go crazy, I guess, with all the colors of the rainbow in there. And what else? I just used some of that, didn't I? Yes, I did. I think I'm going to use that pink as a catalyst. And some of that red. And I have some gold around here, and let's make sure that's shaken. That is my mica powder that you can find on the Amazon link, along with my OXO omelet turning spatula that you'll see in a minute. And uh, my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. And I like all that, but I want some more blue. And I have some pretty blues here. All right. Who knows what's going to happen with that, but there's almost enough color there for me to feel like I can do what I want. Those are my flower colors. These are my grass colors. Whether they all are exactly grass colors or not is irrelevant. We know that about me. That's a minty green color shift from Folk Art. That's a variation on a different color. I think I like purple in my grassy areas, so I'm going to put some of that in there. Two. and maybe some of that Prussian blue. Yes, squeezed right down into there and dribbled on top. Um, grassy areas. How about a little bit of this? And maybe a little bit of that too. And since it's grassy areas, there we go. I have about as much paint as I want there. I really want some clouds in this scape and I'm not sure how that's going to work at all but I'm going to give it a shot <laughs> with a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this too. I have pre-mixed paints in all of my squeeze bottles and when I can fit a marble in there I put it in there too. All right so I'm going to switch out hopefully I don't dump that and they don't spill. Come bring my 16 by 20 inch canvas back and try and keep most of my tips out of the way. Yeah, I guess that's gonna stay. Hang on, hang on. We're gonna make sure those shovels are headed in the other direction. I don't have any level surfaces, I gotta tell you. I do have glasses on my head and I am gonna show you how I spread paint. I see those other things on there. Is that a thing? Yes, it is. Goodbye thing. I want a good amount of wet paint. I don't know how wet it will stay, but it's um, it's not early in the day. That's definitely got to go. Goodbye thing. It does not belong. Um, that purple needs to go away too. So the reason I love my omelet turning spatula from OXO that is on the Amazon link is because it spreads such a nice even layer of paint that even when I foolishly don't sieve 
my flow trawl, or little bits of paint get in there, I can often see them in the paint I'm spreading. Now, I'm going to start with the bottom of this, maybe, bottom? <laughs> I think I'm just going to be completely crazy and irreverent, like I am often anyway. I have enough paint. I'm going to do some strange stuff. I don't know how it's going to work out. This is definitely an experiment, but that's okay. That's going in the bucket. Where's my first shovel? A flower shovel. I think I want more pink. I always want more pink, but I definitely want more pink right now. And I'm going to try and ribbon dribble. area that I consider flower-like, maybe. Looks like I'm going to have some paint left over. That's okay. That's usually not a bad thing. There's some funky, funky colored flowers. And we're going to see right now if I'm going to be able to tip. I kind of don't think so. Always wanted to just ribbon dribble a whole flowery area. But what that makes me think is that I don't have nearly enough orange or yellow in that area, so I'm going to grab some. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link, in paperback now, as well as as an, an ebook. Let's see if I can get something that I like up here. And what I really like is my favorite neon purple, so I might be dragging some of that over here in a minute. I have several different varieties of it, and that is... Yes, it's coming out. Oh, and it's coming out in little tiny... Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Since it's not coming out quickly, I'm not going to worry about ribbon pouring it. <laughs> Now, did I put enough of my green in my bottom? I don't know, and it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be worried about that. I'm going to take my cloud color, or such as it is, and put it somewhere else. Now, I have all kinds of... What was I going to say? <laughs> I don't know. I have all kinds of other colors. I know that. I have Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, and I will probably, I'm going to continue shoveling out my shovel with my spatula, if that makes any sense. Now, I'm going to throw that in the bucket. I might take a little more green paint off at first. I'm very, very tempted to tip because I can and I think I will where's my yep yeah, there it is I'm gonna turn that around probably won't look anything like what I expect it to look like but um, I'm gonna give it a shot anyway now I've got that paint coming to the bottom and I'm gonna take it on the edge catcher and I'm just gonna move it right across all the way across the bottom and touch my bottom edge and then I'm gonna take my basting brush. Maybe first I'm going to make some stems. I think that seems like a good idea. I'm going to keep wiping off my spatula in between. I'm going to let that paint that's down there go over and that paint that's down there go Make some leaf shapes. Drag it this way, drag it that way. Is that a good drag? I'm not sure. Just gonna use my spatula. I'm gonna leave that paint on there for now. I wasn't sure how this was gonna work. I'm still not sure how this is gonna work. But I do want to see what happens with my basting brush. And 
if I go down instead of up, I won't run into the same problem. I don't want to obliterate all of those cool patterns. I might want to grab some of that paint and bring it right up top because I can. And then when I've got it, bring it down again. And steal a little more paint here and there. Let the paint that's over on this edge fall over this edge. Cover it. And maybe a little more. I wanted some chain in there, but I'm not sure how that's going to work right now. There's not a lot of room left for the clouds I had imagined up top, but um, I'm also not done yet. I'm not really minding all of the colors mixing in there so much as I expected. I did. I said I wanted to put some chain in there, so I guess I'm going to try that. Let me just rinse off. I've got some short chain. Maybe that's too short. It's also got some paint left in it. So let me just go ahead and add a few spirals into my garden. That are kind of fun. The paint is far too purple for me to want to get rid of. <laughs> I'm going to have to be willing to clean it off at some point. I'm thinking right up there is a good place to clean it off, right in the white. kind of wish I had some yellow flowers. This is, hey, there we go, got my wish, sort of, kind of. Um, that's still fun, but I think I do like that idea of the yellow and the orange. Not that I don't still have something on there. That's a pretty bright yellow. I don't think that's the one I intended. And I wanted a lighter color orange too. Just hit that chain with a... It's still very red, but it's... Let's let the chain rest and that will help the paint deposit down some. And I can do bamboo skewers. I see that purple there and I want it. I want a purple flower. What can I say? I'm not sure I'm going to get what I want, but that's okay too. I learn every time I do this about what I can have and what I can't have. I go back the other direction. Now let's go ahead and take some paint. Let's steal some paint. Ha. And make some funky little flower shapes. And that's kind of fun. Um, I do like the idea of some of this green traveling up this side. And maybe down over the edge too, since it's there already. I think I'm going to just take a little more. So much for my clouds. Oh well, this is pretty cool. I like it. I'm not unhappy with my experiment. There's always time for another experiment.
Yes, that's kind of fun. I don't know if you can see all of that or not. I'm still really tempted by my clouds, but there isn't actually very much room. Maybe if I'd done it first. So I've got my skewer, and I can play fast and loose and try and use the, what the skewer puts down. I need to move some of this stuff out of my way. I don't have any gold in this. I like that shape. I'm wondering how much more of that I want. Yep, that's cool. The white paint is making that uh, those large funky flowers down there really cool. I haven't used my torch yet. It's a flower garden just bursting with colors. I think we need a few more stems since we have so many flowers. Just going to use my basting, excuse me, use my bamboo skewer. It's not a basting brush. You can see that. Anyone can see that. And that means I have two minutes left to tell you whatever I'm going to tell you. Starting with, I'm going to turn this around so you can see what's happening here. And I am going to push a few more green things up through. When that timer goes off, I'll have one minute left after that. So I might as well tell you that if you want to help me out and contribute to the studio to keep me painting and making videos, you'll be entered in this month's drawing. The contributions come in in March. The drawing will be in April. There are seven paintings in the video at the end of this video on the end screens that mentions prizes for April. And you can watch that. I believe they're 20 by 20, an exhibition of 20 by 20 paintings. This is really cool. I'm not unhappy. I will want to do another one with clouds. And I do like my spirals. But I am pretty well pleased with how my stems are and what my garden looks like. Drop some of that green paint right over there and roll my skewer right over the edge to have a little bit of fill in. I'm also going to steal some paint. If you're interested in my Pinterest, that is where I most of the time post my brand new work. And there's Instagram and Pinterest at the bottom of the description under the video, along with Facebook albums, one and two, and I have been finally filling them up. Uh, the wet and dry artworks from YouTube. I like that. I might I might need to have a few more of those. Yeah. Just pull a few things. Steal a little paint. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for the fifty-two thousand plus of you. For, su for subscribing, and uh, let's see if my crib seat sheet will help me in the last minute. My paint pouring recipe is underneath the video, should you want that. You can ask me questions about anything you want, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I'm going to run out of time, but I think I told you my book is out, and that uh, you can find it on the Amazon link. So you're probably in good shape. And all of that is just fun. Thank you guys for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Check out my Facebook pages if you want for Shop More button that will lead you to my Pixels.com and Fine Art America stuff I put on there since 2013. And a lot of it's very cool and at least worth cruising, checking out just for the fun of it. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery saying, I'll see you soon. I love you guys. All of you. Bye for now. Come back soon.